Nope, I didn't. Okay. There we go. Now it's recording. Okay. So something I want you guys to remember is the subconscious mind is scientifically proven to be approximately 1 million times more powerful in terms of processing data than the conscious mind. So I want you guys to think about what are you putting in your subconscious mind? Are you putting negative thoughts into your mind? Or are you filling your mind full of positive things? Such as, instead of thinking, oh, my house is so messy, think, well, my house may be messy today, but tomorrow I'm going to work on this first thing in the morning. I am still a good mom even though my house is a mess because this is something, I only say that because that's what I always tell myself, um, <laughs> that it's okay to have a messy house sometimes. But um, what, seriously though, like what you put in your subconscious mind is what you're going to, what people are going to see coming from you. So if you're telling yourself that you're this flumpy, frumpy, depressed person, then that is what people are going to see you as. And I don't want you guys to think that about yourselves either because that's not good either to be so negative and hard on yourselves. So what are we, wow, what are we attracting with our own limiting beliefs? So um, that is in, by the way, this is the book that I read. Yes, I read another book, but this one's only like, I don't know, not 260 pages. It's, um, hold on, I'll tell you how many pages. It's 106 pages, but it's big fonts with pictures, like a kid. So, um, this comes from that book that I have, that I read. Um, what are we attracting with our own limiting beliefs? So, are we, are we thinking that that we're going to hit diamond by the end of this year or are we thinking there's no way i can hit diamond at the end of this year i don't even have one coach signed up you know what by thinking that yeah you're not going to hit diamond if you think oh my gosh i don't even have one coach signed up then yeah you aren't gonna make it freaking brianna she rocks she <laughs> like by the way brianna you're doing the team call next thursday on recruiting <laughs> so Happy day for you. <laughs> um, Brianna is really good at recruiting coaches. Um, she is almost to diamond rank herself. And she has been a coach for three months, four months. How many? Five, four, three, six. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> like, she hasn't been a coach for very long. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, I think you've been a coach for like four or five, maybe. Um, prime example of limiting beliefs. She has like jumped on this train and hasn't stopped. And she is one that if I say, okay, you need to invite this many people, like that is what she does. Like she does it. So um, she is very good at that. And she's very good at recruiting. So that's why, Brianna, hopefully you can do team call next <laughs> because <laughs> that's what I'm planning on. <laughs> okay, so that's a yes. So Rihanna's going to do the call on re recruiting because she's really good at it. Um, and just so you know, I pick out good things that each of you do, and so your turn's coming too. And I may warn you a little bit better than Brianna, but, um, <laughs> but it's coming. So we can't... We can't attract negative people and we can't put negative thoughts in our mind because that's who we're going to attract. Um, and we're only limiting ourselves with the beliefs that we make about ourselves. So if we think that inviting is hard and people are going to say no, then guess what? People are going to say no and you're going to continue to think that it's hard until you change your mindset. And something that I, part of the go for no book is, um, going for, I think, it, I think it's like 50 no's. First person, like 50 no's wins. So if you want to do a game like that, then it's on. I love doing games like that. So like first person to 50 no's wins. 
But um, stuff like that is going to push you, but it's going to grow you too. And yeah, it may suck to have a no, but you're like, okay, well, that's one no. So now I need to get 49 more. Like stuff like that, it's all in your perspective. So are you seeing the glass half full or half empty? And in that case, like, yeah, it sucks that you have a no, but more than likely when you get nine more no's. So statistics say one out of every 10 people will order something. So, and that is coming from, I don't even know, somebody on the cruise told me that. So the more no's you get, the more yeses are coming. So that's why it should be a game to get no's because then you'll have that many yeses. So, okay. We've already talked about words of affirmation a little bit. So I want to challenge you guys all to do this. So I don't care if you take a freaking paper out of your printer and write it on your paper and put it by your computer or on your wall or on your mirror in your bathroom. Like I want you guys to put your goals in words of affirmation order with a by date. So for instance, one of my goals is, and I say it exactly like this every single morning and this is how it's written on my mirror. I am a three star diamond by summit 2016, which is July 27th, 2016. So I have specifically when I'm going to have that goal and I have it written on my mirror so that I'm reminded of what it is every single day I go and read that. And part of it is so I can put the positive affirmation into my brain so that I start believing it. Um, another thing that I have on there is I am a success club all-star on my mirror too. So what, and if the, for my new coaches, you don't know, don't know what that is. It's to hit success club five or 10, 12 months in a row. So, um, that's helping three to five or yeah, three to five people every single month get started with a challenge pack. So those are my goals for myself. Well, some of them. And then another one is, um, like one of my motherly ones that I have on there is I clean one house every day by, I think it's like eight o'clock or by the kids' bedtime, something like that. But like they aren't just business related word of, words of affirmations. And I also have on there, like I am a good positive leader. Um, stuff like that is really important to add to because if I'm being a hundred percent off it, honest I was not a confident person and so I started with my words of affirmation by saying that I am confident and I am a strong person and I am a good leader and I still have the I am a good leader one on there by the way but um so like stuff like that you have to write them down put it in your subconscious so you're constantly thinking about it so I challenge you guys to do the affirmations and put them on your mirror, put them on your desk, put them on your computer background, screensaver, whatever, just where you're going to see it every day on your Shakeology bag. Put them on there too, tape them on there. Um, I just want you guys to be using these because it's so important to think positive about yourself. Um, what perspective are you going to have about yourself? And where are you going? I suppose say where are you going? Where are you going to go now? So, or what are you going to do now about it? So, um, hopefully this, this call helped with how you guys see yourselves and how you see the business aspect of it. Because honestly, like your perspective on things makes a huge difference. Um, anyways, so that is what I have, and I'm sorry I went over my time, but, um, I was really trying to hurry, but, so, yeah, that is what the call is, and that's all I have for you guys, um, I was gonna do announcements at the beginning, but I figured that there would still be people hopping on, because, you know, everyone's like me, and we all run late, <laughs> so, um, I shouldn't even say that, my team is always on time. I am always on time. <laughs> okay, one day. Um, but for reals. So 
Um, as far as announcements go, anybody that who even thinks that they might want to go to Summit, get on the wait list like right after we get off this call, like get on it because Scotty said that they were releasing people off of the wait list this week. I haven't seen an email or anything yet and I'm sure Scotty will update everybody in the Team Dynasty page when they do that. But basically anybody that gets on the wait list will come off. But the reason why they're holding everybody on there, from my understanding, is for hotel purposes. So anybody that already has their tickets, they get an opportunity to purchase hotels because the second that they open that wait list, all those hotel rooms are gonna be gone. <laughs> Just saying. So um make sure that if you even like remotely want to go to get that. Um I was talking to um I don't remember who it was. Might have been several. Oh, Savannah. I was talking to Savannah and she was asking how much it costs to for the ticket to summit. And it's changed so much that I like we ended up doing the math and as a new coach, so I think all of you signed up this year. So you all should have a hundred dollar off coupon that you got in your coaches packet that you got. And you should be able to get a hundred dollars off your summit ticket. Um and just so you guys know this too, start saving for next year's summit ticket when they release it at summit. I have gotten it the past two years for a hundred dollars. So, and that's only because I get it right when they go on sale. And the past two times that they went on sale, they've sold out in like less than 15 minutes. So it's got to, and I, last year I was on the wait list and I got off the wait list, but because I got on it right after they had the sale, I still got the same deal. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. I'll send, I'll send a message in like the group chat saying, Summit tickets went on sale for next year. Everybody get on, here's the link. Um, so that you guys are aware of that. As far as hotels go, um, I would like to know or get like even a maybe out of you guys. Like if you maybe wanna go and you can maybe swing it, like let me know or add yourself on the Team Beauty and the Beast fitness page. That's Megan and Scott Gutke's team page. We're all in their downline. Um, they have a like a um, document that you can add yourself to on the dates that you think that you're going to be going up there and how long you're going to stay because what they're going to do is they're going to try to book hotel rooms or they talked about renting a house and having us all split the cost of the house or the hotel room to make it way cheaper than what it would be if like I was just to go and like I know Ashley's planning on going. So like if we were to go. So it breaks down the cost and makes it a lot cheaper. We live as cheap as possible. So um I talked to Misty because she went to Summit last year and she was trying to get prices for um or I was trying to get like price ranges for how much her tickets were last year, clean tickets, and they were four hundred dollars roughly is what she said. So I have already been price checking like I check like every other day on flights and so far um it's gonna be cheaper like almost a hundred dollars or more cheaper to fly out of Salt Lake than it will be to um fly out of Idaho Falls. So if we wanted I could drive up and we could fit my whole car full of coaches and drive up together to do that too. So I am going to make this as cheap as possible because I don't have all the money in the world either, but I know how important it is to be there. And I remember my first year in um, Vegas when I went to my first summit. I remember Josh, um, oh my gosh, I can't even remember what this one. Josh Holt, um, he went to, our first summit was the same year. And I remember he slept, he slept on the floor in Megan and Scott's hotel room. Like they were all like sardine packed in there and he slept on the floor the, the days that we were there so that he could be there because he knew how important it was to be there. So like if you can swing it, great. If not, I can understand, but like I said, it's just so 
I don't even know how to explain it to you guys. It's so like motivating and inspiring and you learn so much by going there that I would hate for you guys to miss out on that. Um, so there's that and team calls are now switching. You ready for this? Team calls are switching from Thursdays. We've been doing them at Thursday mornings at 10 and we're gonna change them so more people can participate and we're going to be doing those on Wednesday nights at seven. So that way, because I was going to do Thursday nights at 7, but that Scotty Hobbs team calls, and I most of the time I like to hop on his because who doesn't like extra trainings? Um, by the way, the call tonight, if you guys didn't hop on that call, it was really good. I'm going to go back and listen to it again when he posts the recording. But um, So that's why I'm doing Wednesdays at 7. So um, I, that's why I did it, just so everybody knows. Um, and the reason why seven and not eight is because, um, Haley is on the East coast. And so she's two hours ahead of us. So if we did it at eight, it'd be 10 o'clock her time. So we wouldn't finish till 11 sometimes later. So I figured that would be torture. Um, especially where her little boy wakes up early. So that is why seven is the time. Um, but anyways, so that's that. And super Saturday. On, guys I forget about that one who's going to super saturday on saturday brianna why aren't you go oh you are going <laughs> okay good um it is at i don't even know what the hotel is called actually do you remember what the hotel is called it's off of broadway and <laughs> do you remember what it's called is it the marriott it's the new one that they tried to build and then it stopped the building process for a long time and then they finally finished it like this last year yeah do you know what i'm talking about brianna yeah <laughs> the address is in the event page so when in doubt put the address in your gps that's what i did so um <laughs> Um, for coaches, you need to bring $10, I think, to get in, but that's to help cover the costs of renting the building. And if you have how, other coaches or um, other potential coaches or friends that want to come with you, anybody that's not a coach, they get in for free. So they can fill it out and see what it's like. They'll be announcing new product um, releases. I heard something really exciting is going to be announced. Who knows what that is? They always have like um, trainings and afterwards they do a live workout. Normally, I know they're doing the buddy workout, so that'll be super fun to do. Yeah. What? They're doing a buddy workout, the 22 minute hardcore buddy workout. Ooh. It'll be great. It'll be so fun. So, <laughs> I so, so, so what, four, at nine? Okay, so it starts at 9.30. Normally, it starts at 9. Um, Megan and Scott are in charge of it this time. I'm, I'm going to try to show up a little bit earlier so I can see if they need help setting up anything. So um, you guys can, too, if you want. Um, I think that's all. I think. Um, oh, Power Hour. Who's getting on for power hour for reels? Don't just tell me you're going to get on and not get on. Who's really going to Brianna, do you have to work again tomorrow? Or did you work today? You work today. Or do you work tomorrow? <laughs> Fine. Some people. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I still love you and I know you get it done anyways. Um, so... Anybody who can get on, and I'm sorry I'm selfish with power hours because I know that if I don't get it done in the morning, then I don't do it. So that is me being selfish and saying I'm doing the power hours in the morning. Um, at 8 o'clock, and part of that is my motivation to get out of bed, besides Jordan dumping water on my head. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways, so power hour at 8 tomorrow. Um, I think that's all. I left my paper in my car with my thoughts, but 
So thank you guys for hopping on and taking the time away from your families. I really do appreciate it. Um, this, oh, I remember. Promotions for April. I don't know if you guys seen in the team page or not, but the Masters Hammer and Chisel is on sale for 160 Yeah, right? <laughs> um, so um, you guys, I, I've actually had people ask me that aren't even my personally sponsored coaches if they can use my Hammer and Chisel results to invite to a Masters Hammer and Chisel group. You guys can use... I've already told you guys this before. You can use my stories. You can use my pictures. I don't care. Whatever helps you guys, you're, you're good to use. Um, as long as you don't copy and paste my post word for word and you make it your own slightly. Okay? Capiche? Um, so ha Master's Hammer and Chisel, and it looks like they're doing um, April 18th. They are starting uh, the ultimate reset is going to go on sale. And I think it's for $245. Normally it's more than that. I have never done it because I can barely handle the three day refresh <laughs> because I get, I get hangry when I do the three day refresh. Um, but I do like what I feel like when I'm done with it. Um, so there's, that that goes on sale then, but then they're doing a beach body on demand promo. So you get your three months of beach body on demand in a challenge pack for 140. And from what I've read, it comes with the portion containers too. So that might be a good one to push to for anybody that wants to maybe just see what program they want to try. It's the perfect way to do it. Sign them up with that in the Shakeology. And I think that's all I have. So do you guys have any questions about the call or any of the events coming up? Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. I have one more, my big announcement. I don't know how I forgot this. I haven't talked to Jordan about it yet, but he'll find out soon enough. So, um, no, I'm not pregnant. Um, so... <laughs> I'm just going to clear the air with that right now. Um, I am planning, I don't know who likes to do this or who doesn't, but I love Lagoon. So I am going to make an incentive for my coaches. Okay. I haven't talked to Jordan about it, so we'll just keep it on hush for now. Sometime in, what month is it? It'll be April. So probably the end of May, beginning of June. Anybody who has gone diamond, I will pay your entry fee to get into Lagoon. And anybody, it's open for any of my coaches to go. So any of my personally sponsored coaches, you can go. You can bring your spouse with you too if you would like. So, and I will pay for you and your spouse to go to Lagoon if you're diamond. So, with that being said, I guess I should ask if you guys even like rides or not, but um, I like rides, so I'm motivating myself to go. Um, <laughs> so there you have it. And um, I have been working on incentive prizes for even hitting Success Club. So I think every month, just with my personally sponsored coaches, I'm going to give away incentives or I don't know if we should do the first person to get a success club point as one and then anybody who gets success club five or higher. I was doing really good at this and then I wasn't. So like I still have Brianna like I think two books now. Yeah, this month because she hit success club six this month. Woohoo! So I owe her two books now. Or is it three now? I don't really remember. <laughs> I owe you books is what I owe her. Um, so whenever you hit success club five or higher as one of my personally sponsored coaches, I send you a personal development book of your choice. Yeah. So, um, that is the first incentive. So how about what would motivate you guys more? Would you like a gift card or 
do you like the personal development books or do you want like clothes or water bottles or what do you want? What would motivate you guys? I think, I think you should just switch it up so it's, all, it's different. Like clothes are always good, books are good, gift cards are good. Okay. I think you should just switch it. Okay. Noted. Do you guys both agree too? Ashley Bowman and, and Ashley McCann, do you guys both agree? Yeah. Um, okay, so I will think of what April's is. <laughs> um, you know what? I think I found it. So if you hit, if any of my coaches hit Success Club 5 this month, I will send you guys a $25 gift card of your choice to wherever you want. Okay, that I can that I can purchase a gift card to. I guess I should make that specification first. But um there you go. So there's your and it's being recorded, so I will post it and everybody will see it. That's if they watch the recording. If they don't, snooze you lose. But, um, <laughs> okay, I know, I know, probably, I don't know what it is, it's just, I'm icy, I guess. I love it. <laughs> Good. Um, so, there you go. Um, do you guys have any questions about anything before we go? About anything. The trainings are still going. Um, I accidentally posted an additional video one of the days, so that's why I haven't posted anything today, because the last video is posting tomorrow, <laughs> so I skipped a day. So just think of it as an extra day that you guys have to catch up on it, right? So that's why I haven't posted today. When is training? How long does the training go? So it's, it's 10 days. It's a 10-day training, but you guys will have the weekend to catch up. But I, I know, so I've seen Ashley, both the Ashleys posting it a little bit. Brianna, have you gone in there yet? I don't remember. I know you were posting in the old one. Basically, I'm going to be honest, okay, because I'm being blunt today, so be ready. <laughs> um, nobody has been posting every single day, like doing the segments every single day. And um, honestly, like, I really want you guys to do it because A, I spent a lot of time like figuring out what I feel like is important for you guys to learn as a new coach. And there is a lot of content, especially in the inviting series that I think would be so beneficial for you guys, especially the ones who are trying to get ready to set up and they're inviting to your free groups. There is some very like, awesome information to those. And I don't mean to say that to toot my own horn, but there really is good information on how to invite people and how to deal with objections and stuff like that. So, um, catch up on that because once you guys, once I've seen that you guys have commented on everything and that you guys have, um, participated on everything, then I will still give you your shirt for completing the training. But I give the shirt as an incentive because everything that's in those videos is so important to know. And I've been getting a lot of questions on things that are in those videos. So if you ask me a question and I know that it's in those videos, I'm going to say, did you, or, did you watch the trainings? If you say no, I don't, I'm not going to say this to be mean, but I'm going to say, okay, you need to go. Watch all the trainings, do the 10-day trainings. If you still have questions, then come to me. Because I made those videos so that, um, obviously, it trains you. And it teaches you the basics and a lot of what your questions are, they're in those things. And there is one more video that I need to add about it. But um, aside from that, um, just please do the trainings because I know it'll help you guys. And there's videos in there on how to get to Emerald rank, why it's important to get there. There's um, ways to handle objections. 
There's ways to invite to your clean eating groups. There's ways to build your contact list to add new friends. There's all of that and it's in the trainings. Okay. So I love you all. Good grief. Do the trainings. <laughs> um, so do you guys have any more questions? Yeah, real quick. So um, like some of the videos, I know a lot of them you say once you finish it, or comment this or whatever but there's some that like how do you want us to let you know that we're done with them what I've been doing is I've just been going like anyone that I'm finished with I just like it so that that's just for me to keep track but is there something you want us so, to so post? For, for my sake if you guys can and maybe I should um be more specific. That's one of the videos I'm going to add next time as a video explaining how it all works. Because yeah, I, I realized that when I was done that a lot of them don't have a call to action at the end. <laughs> um, so maybe when you're done for your sake, you like it. But like for me, I go through to see like how many comments are on it and I scroll through for comments. So that I know, so maybe comment like done underneath it when you've done it so that I know that you guys have done it. Will that work? Is that good? Okay. So, any other questions? Sorry, I am in a really blunt mood tonight. So anybody who goes there and watches this video again, I apologize. I don't even know what my deal is today, but sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I think part of it is when I get tired, I get really blunt and I go from blunt to really funny or I just laugh at everything. So things you learn about me, the more time you spend. Um, all right. Well, if you guys don't have any more questions, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for hopping on. And I know you guys are both busy, but I will see you all. Well, not Brianna. Brianna, have fun at work tomorrow. Ashley, I'll see you in the morning, right? eight o'clock. Okay. All right. But I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for hopping on.